Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. This video was taken on a weekday when my husband's friends had come over for dinner. I'm just showing the food I prepared that day and so on. Few days back, Oman celebrated their 52nd National Day. There were many programs happening all over Muscat. Unfortunately, we couldn't see any of it due to other engagements. but still could see the celebrations of the local people on the road for lunch we had it together with our family friends went over to another friend's house to meet their newborn and sat there for a while we made ourselves free soon so that we could reach the spot to see what's happening around muskit on the national day but due to heavy traffic it was impossible however i captured the moments of people celebrating it on the road in their way I have been to many countries in the Middle East and all of them celebrate it in a similar way but the intensity is a bit different. And I guess it's totally different in India as well. Later we had our dinner and went back home. Next is the dinner preparation video which was not planned at all. I started the preparation after lunch because I was not sure at what time they would come. Whether for tea and snacks or for dinner. I had to go to the nearby grocery to get few items which I needed for cooking. Anyways, started after lunch. I have been using this brand of white rice and I love this brand. I get tasty dosas from using this and this is my personal choice, nothing sponsored. I'm making neer dosa with coconut and egg to enhance the flavor. So for that, I soaked around 1 and 1/2 cups of this white rice. As usual, I love preparing macaroni salad for my guests. For that, I'm cooking around 1 cup pasta, preferably small size. Add salt to the water. and cook till the macaroni is done for the dressing i used 1 cup labne 1/2 cup fresh cream 1/4 cup olive oil 1/2 to 3/4 teaspoon crushed black pepper 1 or 2 tablespoons of chili sauce 1/2 cup condensed milk you may add more later if you feel it's needed you can add a mix of fruits and vegetables The macaroni is ready. Drain and keep aside. As I said, you may add your favorite choice of fruits and veggies to your salad. I have taken apple. You can use grapes, pear, banana. Then I added cucumber and green capsicum. You may even add cabbage, broccoli, red and yellow capsicum and so on. Chop the fruits and veggies to small size and add that to the dressing. Chop a handful of coriander leaves and add. Now goes in the macaroni that has cooled down a bit. I had to transfer to a bigger container so that I can mix all together well. Now I didn't add salt initially as I had added it to the macaroni while it was cooking. So check and add later accordingly. Cover and keep that chill in the refrigerator. For the dessert I made a simple banoffee pudding. For that I needed caramelized condensed milk. Remove the paper from the condensed milk tin. Place it in a pressure cooker and fill the cooker with water till the tin is completely immersed in water. Cook on high flame till the first whistle. Then reduce the flame to medium and cook for 35 to 40 minutes. Now I'm making batura with Afghani chicken, and for the chicken I blended a handful of mint leaves, enough coriander leaves, say around two handful, around 10 cloves of garlic, a medium-sized ginger. Forgot to add handful of cashews, and it would have been better had it been so. I didn't have the time, so added as such. Just to clean up the blender, I added one cup curd and one cup fresh cream. blend and add then added one more cup of curd give a mix to this goes 2 tsp chaat masala 1/2 tsp crushed black pepper then you need around 2 tablespoons of dried fenugreek leaves or what you call kasuri methi crush with your palms and add 
chaat masala has enough salt in it so add accordingly mix well now goes in 1 and 1/2 kg chicken pieces that's cut in medium size forgot to add that's 1 tsp garam masala powder mix and let this sit till needed or for at least 10 minutes another dinner combo for today is the neer dosa and fish curry which i'll be preparing with pom frit you can even make this with kingfish or any fish of your choice and for this curry it's best with shallots please do not substitute it with onion you will need enough shallots but less of garlic and ginger you will have to slice around 20 shallots and this fish curry is made with 750 grams of pom frit using a clay pot to prepare and i'll be serving it in the same because that's how i love to serve traditionally prepared dishes heat coconut oil add a pinch of fenugreek seeds to the hot oil after a few seconds fry few curry leaves and close with the lid so that it doesn't splutter to the dirty stuff now saute the sliced shallots once it turns translucent cook the ginger and garlic till the raw smell is gone meanwhile make a paste of 2 tsp kashmiri red chili powder 1 tbsp normal red chili powder 1/2 tsp turmeric powder and 1 and 1/2 tsp coriander powder mix with 3 tablespoons warm water make a paste and keep aside ginger garlic is done now add the spicy paste and mix thoroughly make sure flame is low and do not burn the spices after stirring for few seconds add some hot water and keep stirring add salt add around half cup warm water and let this boil till you see oil on top now add 1 and 1/2 cup hot water and mix for sourness i have added garcinia let this boil once it starts boiling add the fish pieces it said that once you add fish do not mix it with a spatula or spoon shaking the pot is the best option and you need to be careful with that cover and let the fish cook till it's done once the fish is almost done slit in 3 or 4 green chilies then add 1 cup thick coconut milk if you're using fresh let it reach the boiling point and then turn off the flame i have used tin so i'll be boiling the coconut milk for a minute and then we'll turn off the flame i heated some sunflower oil in kadai to fry the chicken pieces that were marinating in the curd mix this is done cover and keep that aside now if you want you may temper this again with some shallots curry leaves and dried red chilies but that's optional batura do you will need 1 cup lukewarm water and mix in one sachet instant yeast then goes 1 tablespoon sugar dissolve and let this rest for 5 to 7 minutes do not forget to clear your sink as soon as you see it getting piled up or else you'll have tough time later and do thank me for this for kneading the dough i'm using my stand mixer adding 2 and 1/2 cups of all purpose flour some salt mix and then add the fermented yeast mix into this you will need more warm water while kneading so add accordingly till you get a dough now this is done oil the bowl and spread it around the dough as well cover and let this sit for 2 hours or till it double in size
another dish for dinner is keema steamed rice cake or basically called keema butter for the keema heat coconut oil in a kadai and fry some curry leaves saute chopped ginger and garlic till the rice melt goes now saute a handful of sliced shallots All the chicken pieces are fried now. Do not throw away the oil. Make sure you remove any burnt remainings from the oil or else it can taste bitter. Now add the remaining curd mix in the oil. If you want you can remove some oil and add butter. It's up to you. Shallots are soft and translucent. Add two small very ripe tomatoes. There were some remaining stuck at the bottom so I changed to another pot. Let this boil for a minute. I'm really sorry I thought the camera was on but unfortunately it wasn't. I had already added 1 tablespoon chili powder and 1/2 teaspoon turmeric powder to this. Then goes 1 tablespoon coriander powder. mix till the rice melt goes now goes the keema or the minced meat here i used more than quarter kilo but less than half kilo i have used beef keema here you can use mutton keema as well cook the keema till done the chicken is done adding some salt mix and then turn off the flame For the putte or the steamed rice cake, I used ready-made flour. I have done a recipe with frozen rice, and will share the link in the description box. Here, I used two cups. Mix in some salt, and then add two cups water. That's room temperature. Mix and keep covered for two minutes. To the keema, I added half teaspoon garam masala powder. Meanwhile, I remove the caramelized condensed milk into a bowl to let it cool down. adding a handful of chopped coriander leaves to the keema mix and this is done to the caramelized condensed milk add around 1 and 1/2 cup fresh cream and mix mix really well till smooth this will be chilled till i need them the flour has gone hard roughly crumble it first Once it's fully crumbled, pulse it in batches. You will have to pulse it just two or three times. That's all. The flour becomes more airy and soft. This is all pulsed and done. Keep it covered for five to seven minutes. Now for the batter for neer dosa, I added half the soaked rice in a blender, along with around half cup fresh coconut and one egg. had some coconut milk left so i added that if not you can add 1 and 1/2 cup water and blend to a smooth batter the same will be repeated for the second half of the soaked rice the batter should be almost the same consistency of the normal neer dosa we make season with some salt and mix i will cook keema putte and the neer dosa simultaneously for the putte you will of course need the putte maker Add a spoon of grated coconut at the bottom. Then goes some of the flour. This depends on the size of each you need. Three heap tablespoon will be good enough. Then add one or one and a half tablespoon of the keema mix. Again, repeat till the top. On the top goes. grated coconut place this on a vessel with hot boiling water cook till the steam comes through while that's cooking i made neer dosas spread some oil in a tawa and prepare
Before removing it from the pan, make sure you open the lid for a few seconds. While serving, it's better to keep it in a triangle shape. So while taking it from the pan, fold it and place. When steam comes through the putty maker, wait for a minute or two and then push from the bottom gently so that it doesn't go out of shape. I have my kids to help me clean the rest of the house while I am busy in the kitchen. I think my sons love helping me because I don't force them much to do any task and I hate to force as well. I never enjoyed the task given by my mother as it was made to do with compulsion. So that makes me want my kids to do upon my request and not by company. The last part of the main course for dinner was batura, and you can see the dough has doubled in size. Remove the air and knead for few seconds. Heat some oil on medium flame and keep it ready for frying baturas. Spread very little flour and roll the dough to a little more thicker than chapati size. Cut in triangle or you can even make small round baturas. Make sure flame is medium high. And that has come out perfect. I later cut the baturas a little more smaller size as that will be more convenient to have. The salad will go thick once it sits for some time. Just give a mix. Time for dinner. To the dessert mix, I added half cup more of fresh cream to make it even more smoother and creamier. Pour a small amount in each bowl. Then goes in banana that's cut in small pieces. Adding few cashews for a crunch. You may even use walnuts. Pour a little more of the creamy mix in each. That's soaked basil seeds for a garnish along with one cashew. Earlier when I used to prepare dinner or lunch parties, there used to be a lot of food left over for at least two days. It has got much much better. I have learned to make in moderation and thankfully there is very less leftovers these days when I cook for guests. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching today's vlog. Do try the recipes and I'm sure you will love them. Do send me your feedback as well so that I know you have tried. Stay tuned for more. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.